Welcome to our check-in property management software demonstration video. My name is Brandi Whitaker and I am the general manager of InSoft Incorporated. Check-in is developed, maintained, and supported by InSoft. For more information about InSoft and our different product options, feel free to visit us online at www.insoft.com or give us a call at 1-800-950-8995. During this video, we will demonstrate how to check in a guest using an existing reservation. We will also show how to check the guest out. A second video is available that will show you how to create the reservation. Check-in is easy to use and you'll be surprised at how quickly you can train your front desk staff. So let's get started. I have enabled the advanced password feature in check-in, so I will need to enter my password to log in. You aren't required to set up passwords, however, we highly recommend using the advanced password functionality. Give our support team a call for more information about this feature. In this scenario, Faith Hilton has already called us earlier today to make a reservation for a double queen non-smoking room. She has reserved the room for six days. From the main menu of check-in, click on Guest Check-in. Because she does have a reservation, we will click Yes. This takes us to the Reserved Room Selection screen. If she did not have a reservation, you would be on the Room Selection screen instead. Go ahead and double click on Faith Hilton. We are now on the ID image screen. If you have one of our ID scanners, you would scan the customer's driver's license here. If you have our advanced ID scanner, then it will simultaneously scan the 2D barcode on the license and ask if you would like to use this information to update the guest record. I will answer yes here once I have scanned the ID because she is the primary guest. The color image of the ID will now show and you can continue scanning additional IDs as necessary. You can scan up to four IDs per room and you can print the images if needed, but you can also print these later if necessary. There's also a more detailed ID guest report available. Give us a call for more details about our ID scanner options. Click Done once you're finished scanning the IDs of the guests. We are now on the check-in screen. Notice here that the name, full address, driver's license number, and state have already been entered because we use the advanced ID scanner. I'm now going to complete entering the guest information, including telephone number and email address. The number of nights and rate information has already been entered because this check-in is from an existing reservation. If you needed to make any changes to the rate, Click on the Rate field. We are now on our Room Rate screen. It will display the active rate that was chosen when we created the reservation, along with other rate descriptions that you have entered for your property. While she's checking in, Faith Hilton might tell us that she is a member of AAA, so I could select the AAA rate instead of RAC. However, in this case, we're going to go ahead and stick with the RAC rate. If you would like to see the rates for each day, you can click Display Rates. Notice here that my weekend rate is higher than my weekday rates. We highly recommend setting up rate rules such as this to maximize your revenue. Your rates can be based on many factors such as days of the week, different date ranges based on things like busier times of the year, room type, or property occupancy, etc. These rate rules are easy to set up, and the more you use the rate rules, the higher your revenue becomes. Call our support team for more information about how to easily set up your rate rules. Sometimes, though, you need to enter custom rates. If so, you can easily click Custom Rates. Here you can enter whatever rate is appropriate for this particular guest for each day. There are several function buttons on the right side of the screen. Change room allows you to move the guest into another room. Once you click this button, you can select a room from the list. Check-in date is used to change the check-in date of the guest. For example, if a guest was checked into the hotel, but not into the system, with this feature you can backdate the check-in date. This will add an additional night of room and tax charges to the guest folio. 
The Search Master button is used to search your guest history for a specific guest. Selecting different information from guest history will override the information you have currently entered for this guest. One very important feature that we recommend using is the Remarks screen. Click Remarks in the bottom right corner. This information was previously filled out when we created the reservation. However, if this were a walk-in guest, you could fill out the information here. The Remarks to Guest field allows us to place a brief remark to the customer that will print on their folio. For instance, if Faith Hilton mentioned she's in town for a family reunion, we could type a small note here. The Market Code section is very important for a business. This will allow you to easily track where your revenue comes from. Faith Hilton mentioned that she found our property on the internet, so we decided to go ahead and enter the market code for internet. The additional remarks section is for internal use only. The guest will not see these. We are now finished entering the guest information, so click Continue. We are now on the cash register for the specific guest we are checking in. The total balance for this guest is 533.80. On the left you will see any existing sales categories that you have created. The sales categories can be used to increase or decrease the total charge to the customer. For instance, our property charges $5 a day for parking. If the guest would like to pay for one day of parking, we can enter $5 for the amount and then click the parking button. This additional charge has now been added to their total. However, the guest may want to pay for all six days of parking. So in this case, I'm going to delete this item by clicking the Delete Item button. I can now select the Repeating Charge button instead. I will enter $5 as the charge amount and select Parking from the drop-down menu. The total balance has now increased by $30. This reflects the six days of parking. Another option is the Travel Agency button. This button will allow you to track third-party bookings from travel agents. You can customize the options available here. If you prefer to pre-authorize the credit card, you can select the Authorize Card option here. However, if your property charges the guest in full at check-in, we would complete this process now. To process Faith Hilton's payment, we will enter the amount we are going to charge. Then we will click Select Payment Type and choose the applicable option. Notice here that the guest can submit payment several ways. Options include cash, credit card, billing, and room transfer. We'll go through a few of these options. If she wished to pay with a credit card and you have purchased our credit card processing interface, you can complete the transaction by selecting credit card sale, then clicking continue. You can use a magnetic stripe reader to swipe the credit card, but in this case we already have the card number from when we originally entered the reservation over the phone. Our credit card interface software would send the data to your credit card processor by using your high-speed wired internet connection. Compared to using a separate terminal, this greatly reduces processing time as well as allows you to easily account for all of your transactions. For additional information about the many benefits of our credit card processing interface, please give us a call. If you do not have our credit card interface, you would use your separate terminal here. If the payment will be made by a guest in a different room, then we would go ahead and enter in the total amount, click Select Payment Type, and choose Room Transfer from the Payment Type options. Click Done. The drop-down list will show the name of all current guests and their room numbers. If you would like to transfer the balance to accounts receivable, you would need to use the Billing option. Contact our support team for more information about setting up accounts receivable. If the customer would like to pay with cash, we will enter the total cash she has given us, click Select Payment Type, and choose Cash as the payment type. It will tell us the total change due to the customer. I can now click Continue, and the system will prompt me to provide the change due.
We can now print out the guest folio. You can upload your logo to the top right and or left corner of the page. Your property details are located at the top. The customer's information is found here, along with the room, rates, and check-in and check-out information. Remember the remark we entered while we were completing the reservation? That has been entered here for the guest. This is a nice personal touch for your property. All total charges and payments have been accounted for. You can customize this statement at the bottom of the page. Click Print and have the guest sign the receipt. You can print additional copies or email these as needed. We have now completed guest check-in, so now it's time to check out a guest. Back on the main screen of check-in, click Guest Checkout. Select the guest to be checked out. If the guest has a zero balance, you can use the Quick Checkout option. You can also check out multiple guests at once by holding down the control key and selecting all the guests to be checked out. Click the Quick Checkout button to complete the checkout process. If the guest has not yet paid, then select the guest to be checked out and click Continue. We are now back at the Cash Register screen. If you need to change the checkout date, this can be done by clicking the Checkout Date button. For a guest that has a balance due, you would use the same process described previously to process their payment. In this case, I'm going to enter the total amount to be paid and select Cash as the payment type. We then will click Continue to complete the process and print the guest folio to be signed. That completes our check-in demonstration video. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-800 950-8995. Thank you for choosing InSoft.